Hard water is hard on you, your house, and your budget. We visit one household to see how they are dissolving the problem with softened water. Searching for a new apartment can be frustrating, especially when you're in a hurry. We've got just the answer for your apartment hunting needs. Organic gardening is not only fun, it's deliciously rewarding. But what happens when insects attack? We'll show you a non-toxic solution. New technology has made applying braces quicker and better for the teeth. We'll visit one orthodontist to see how kids are getting better smiles easier. This is the show all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. We are Designing Spaces. Our whole family has been living with it for years and we have finally had enough. No more hard water. We just got our water softener installed. We are so excited. Designing Spaces and Morton Salt have teamed up again to help this household get their hard water problems under control. Emily Arthurs from Morton Salt will show us how water softeners work and explain the benefits. Hard water can take a toll on a household and a family. You'll have the daily visuals like spots on your glasses or shower doors, and you'll also feel it on your hair and skin. You'll have the long-term effects of hard water on your hot water heater or the fridge filtration system. You'll even see scale buildup in your washer or your dishwasher. You can prevent and even stop hard water damage by installing a Morton System Saver water softener. The hard water has left a film on a shower glass and residue on our dishes and our clothes. We are relieved to get this water softener system. I bet. So what are some other benefits? Sure, you already know the daily benefits. You're gonna see like no more spots on your dishes or on the shower doors. But you'll also see that you don't have scale buildup in your water appliances like your hot water heater or your dishwasher. You'll even see that your coffee maker may work better. Um, so hard water really ages the appliances. Oh, that's so, not good. Yeah, you that's why we're getting them. the softener system for the damage in the bathroom. And for softer showers. Of course. <laughs> you'll definitely feel it on your skin and your hair. Um, so you'll also see that you won't have to use as much soap or shampoos um, or other detergents because you'll get a better lather with less soap. Oh, that's great. Um, yeah. How did they install it? Well, here, I'll show you. Okay. So we installed this right at the inlet, so all the water going into your home will be softened. So any water that goes through the water heater or any of your appliances will be soft. But for your outside faucets, it'll be still hard water, so you won't be wasting any water or salt. How does it work? Actually, the way the water softener works is it's filled with resin beads, and the resin beads act like little magnets, and they're pulling all of the hard water minerals out of the water. Eventually, those resin beads get full or have get clumped up with too much hard water minerals, and that's where Morton water softening salt enters the process. It's called the recharge process. So a salty brine washes over the resin beads, cleans them so that they can continue to act like little magnets and pull off all the hard water minerals out of the water. Oh, wow, what do I need to do to keep it softening as much as possible? Sure, it's all about adding the right salts. Okay. So at Morton, we say that that's the System Saver 2 pellets and the Rest Remover pellets, and maintaining your softener as much as possible by watching the salt levels and adding it when you need it. This doesn't look like the salt that I'm used to. No, it isn't, actually. <laughs> these are salt pellets, so this doesn't look like the table salt or the crystals that you may be used to. Uh, these are patented salt pellets and premium salt pellets that work with your softener to make sure that it's working efficiently and working as long as possible. Right, and is the other salt for rust? Is that? Yes, yeah, so your water, I tested your water earlier and your water has iron in it. So you'll wanna use our rust remover product to make sure that you are cleaning the resin beads of the iron. Um, and then you'll wanna use the system saver pellets as well to continue to keep the resin beads as clean as possible. So uh, what I would recommend that you would actually add one bag of each every about every two months. Emily, thank you so much, I am so excited. I know you're definitely gonna see the benefits, but you're really gonna be happy when you feel the benefits as well. Yeah, absolutely. Great. I'm really looking forward to the positive impact this water softener is gonna have. I already feel like it's money well spent. It definitely is, and at Morton, we wanna protect that investment as well. So as we were talking before, we recommend that you use two bags every two months, and I would recommend that you use Morton System Saver 2 pellets and Morton Rust Remover pellets. You can also continue to find out more about your water and all the salt that we have at Morton Salt at going to our website, mortonsalt.com, or you can have your neighbors test their water by going to mortonsalt.com backslash test my water. I'm definitely gonna tell my neighbors about it. Thank you again so much for coming here, Emily. Of course. To see this portion of the show again, go to designingspaces.tv and click on the Morton Salt video.
American dream used to be owning a home, but for many, that's changing. And the new American dream is the newfound freedom of renting. However, finding a place to live, especially when you have a deadline to move out of your current home, can be stressful. Hi, I'm Debbie Marie. On this edition of Designing Spaces, we invited Heidi Williams from Apartments.com to help us find the perfect place to live without all the hassle. Heidi, good to have you on Designing Spaces. Thanks, Debbie. It's a pleasure to be here. So we're seeing a lot of people renting versus buying right now. Why do you think that is? Well, there's two main advantages. The first one's financial. Renting is often more affordable and attainable for people. You're not saddled with maintenance costs, and you don't need a large upfront payment. The second is is really flexibility. When you're renting, you don't have to worry again about those home maintenance activities, yard work. Instead, we hope that you have time to enjoy the pool or the fitness center, some of those on-site amenities. And it's also a short-term commitment, so you can feel free to move in with a roommate or try a new neighborhood and move as often as you need to based on your life situation. What are some of the challenges for a renter? Well, finding your rental home is very difficult. Not all the information is readily available online. You have to go to a lot of different sources, and that's really based on how apartments have marketed in the past. You know, I was going to ask you, because when I was looking for rental apartments, what happened is as soon as I found one I liked, I'd call and they're like, oh, it was rented four months ago. So it wasn't up to date. That's right, because most of these companies are used to printing the books. You know, they oh. advertise for a subset of properties. Right. They show very limited information. And they don't keep it up to date as often as they need to. So how has Apartments.com changed that? Well, we've redesigned Apartments.com and the mobile apps with the renter in mind. We have over a thousand researchers out gathering property information, things like rents, mm -hmm. the dates when the units are actually available, pet policies, parking information. We're even out visiting all the properties, getting photos or videos or interactive floor plans. So a lot of real-time information. Yeah, that's right. Okay, well, I love it. You have me sold. Let's go look at the website. I want to go through it. So Debbie, let's say you want to live in Chicago, Illinois, and you're willing to spend up to $2,800 for a two-bedroom. Let's see what's available. If you'll notice, we have 943 rentals available right now in Chicago. It's a lot to sort through, mm -hmm. so you may want to use the advanced filters here. You can even draw your own custom polygons, as many as you want around the neighborhoods you're interested in. You could even use Plan Commute, which is a great feature if you want to find a rental near somewhere you work or somewhere you go to on a regular basis. You enter in your address right here, select how long you want to travel to and from that location, and then how you want to get there. Car, public transit, walk, wow. or bike. So any way you want to search, we've tried to cover it. If I go into the detail here, you'll see we have so many pictures. So many. A really nice high definition video mm -hmm. and here's the unit that matches your criteria exactly. You can go into the model and view the floor plan and interior amenities or you can scroll down through the property and look at all the different information we've collected. Wow. Fees, description, interior and exterior and this point of interest map here at the bottom is really great. You can see the groceries, coffee shops and restaurants <laughs> around that. your building. That's amazing. So let me ask you though, as the internet grows and expands, how does Apartments.com keep up? Well, we're always asking renters what they need to make their searching experience as easy mm -hmm. and stress-free as possible. Okay. So we'll continue to do that and build on our tools and content available, not only on the website, but also on the mobile devices. Well, thank you so much. You really showed us how we can find the perfect place to live without all the hassle. I appreciate that. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you. Well, if you've missed any of what we covered here today, just head over to our website at designingspaces.tv. And thanks for joining us. Happy searching. Organic gardening is its bigger than you and I. I mean, if you have a garden, if you have a backyard, you can grow your vegetables organically. Designing Spaces visited Ground Floor Farm to see how gardening has entered a new environmentally friendly era, embracing organic and sustainable practices. Here at Ground Floor Farm, we've got just a little bit of space, so every square foot counts. We grow lots of fresh vegetables like salad greens and heirloom tomatoes, and we do it all organically. No chemical pesticides ever touch any of our crops. And that's important to us because we want to make sure that people have access to fresh, healthy, locally grown food. Here at the farm, building healthy soil is our top priority. And that way we can grow crops without the need for harsh chemical pesticides or fertilizers. We intercrop with vetch and beans, 
so that when we harvest our plants, we're able to cull those intercrop and build nitrogen into the soil naturally. We use heavy organic mulches to trap nutrients and moisture in the soil and create a beneficial environment for soil microbes. And we have a tight harvest schedule, so as soon as we harvest a bed of lettuce, we're able to replant and harvest again soon. Hydroponics are a very important part of our operation. We're able to grow a large amount of food in a very small amount of space. For instance, with these towers, we've got 20 plant spots and one square foot. So effectively, our 4,000 square foot garden is a two acre farm. A lot of our techniques here can be easily adopted by the home gardener because we don't rely on big machinery like tractors or uh, tillers or large sprayers. Everything that we do on this farm is done by hand and with very small tools, so it translates easily to the home gardener. Designing spaces took Mike off the farm and planted him in the backyard of Caitlin, who was having her own problems with insect pests in her vegetable garden. This is a great garden space you have here. Thank Plenty you. of room to grow lots of crops. I can see you've got some cauliflower. You might want to pick that pretty soon. But you've got some beans, tomatoes, and I love that you've got marigold and elysium here, which help attract beneficial insects. Thanks. Looks like you have a little bit of bug damage here. Yeah, we need to take care of that. I can see. I've been trying. Yep. Looks like caterpillars, maybe. Sometimes you get grasshoppers coming in and chewing up. Yeah, and I've seen them. The way that we deal with those pests on the farm is usually to squish them. A lot of times with large insects that you can see that chew holes, the best thing to do is just to turn over the leaf, look through the plant and see if you can find a caterpillar and get rid of it. But sometimes there are pests that you can't see that aren't easy to identify with holes. And those are usually aphids or white flies or mites. Michael, I really want to take care of the bugs, but I'm really kind of nervous about using powerful pesticides. What can I do about the problem? Powerful chemical pesticides are not the answer. Basically, when you spray a harsh chemical on your crops, you will kill insects, mm -hmm. but you'll also kill the worms. You'll kill the beneficial insects that create a positive, healthy environment for your plants to grow. Okay, great. So since you seem to have a really good handle on everything at your farm, what can we do here? One product I like to use on the farm is Organicide 3-in-1 Garden Spray. It's a really wonderful natural pesticide and its active ingredient is sesame oil. So it's completely natural and safe to use. All you do is just pull off this nozzle here and give it a couple shakes before you spray. Turn the spray nozzle on and then you'll want to spray it on your crops on the top and bottom of leaves. Only in the morning or in the evening though, not in direct sunlight or else you may burn your plants. When you're done, put this nozzle back in place and store it in a shady spot. Okay, and how often do you think I should be using it? While you have an infestation, I would say that you should use this product every seven to 10 days. Will this hurt beneficial bugs like ladybugs or bees? No, and that's one of the great things about Organicide. The active ingredient, sesame oil, acts as a suffocant for soft-bodied insects like mites or aphids or whiteflies, and it does not harm larger beneficial insects like butterflies or bees or ladybugs. That's great. Organicide 3-in-1 Spray is approved as organic by the OMRI, Organic Materials Review Institute. OMRI has certified this product as organic for suffocating insects. In other words, it's a kinder, gentler way of killing the insects in our garden. So in my garden, after I release the beneficial insects, the ladybugs and the lacewings and the mantids, Organicide is the kind of product I use. The infestation comes, I spray it, and I know then when I harvest my salad, my kale, I can bring it in the house and I'm not gonna have little things crawling around the salad plate, which actually happened. <laughs> it's great to see people growing vegetables at their own homes in their home gardens, and it's our mission to help them do it organically and naturally. We want to help people feel confident and educated about how to do things naturally and organically so that they can grow healthy food for themselves and their families. What I really love about it is by using Organicide, we collectively are not putting toxic chemicals into the environment. We're saving on tons and tons of pesticides that would normally be in our water, in our air, in our oceans. And I have no fears if I've sprayed Organicide to control the pests that I know my family, my dog, it's people, pet, and planet safe. Go to yourplantdoctor.com for more information on all the products from Organic Laboratories. Organicide Quart Concentrate and 72 ounce ready to use sprayer is available at select Home Depot stores and online at homedepot.com. To see this portion of Designing Spaces again, go to the website, designingspaces.tv, and click on the Organic Laboratories video.
healthy, beautiful smiles. It's the goal of every orthodontist, and parents around the world want to ensure their kids have exactly that. Designing Spaces teamed up with a leader in the orthodontics business for over 60 years to look at the latest embraces. Traditionally, most young people especially will wear a metal bracket on their teeth during orthodontic treatment. That is added to with a colored or a clear elastic that holds the wire into the bracket. It's the system of the wire and the brackets moving that creates the smile and puts the teeth into alignment. In the case of Clarity Advanced Brackets, the brackets themselves are a clear, translucent material so that they actually adapt to the color of the tooth. They're not white on their teeth, they're not clear and shiny, they actually just look like the tooth color. New APC adhesive technology from 3M has made applying braces quicker and better for the teeth, and treatment times can be shorter. One of the braces options that we like to give our patients are Clarity Advanced braces that are produced by 3M. You know, there was other systems that involved maybe removable appliances or removable clear aligners, but you know, part of the concern there is if you don't wear it as instructed, are you going to get the result? And maybe you'll invest a lot of time and money and not really get that aesthetic result. APC Flash Free Adhesive reduces bonding time and protects tooth enamel. It's easier on the patient and easier on the orthodontist. We want it to be reliable so that it'll stay in position. And then when it's time to take it off, we want it to come off easy. So that's why we combine the Clarity Advanced Braces system with the APC adhesive. When the treatment is completed, they're able to be removed much more easily. Clarity Advanced Braces also offers choices for those wearing them, choices of colors. The braces make the colors of the ties pop, so if you want to represent your school colors or just express yourself with your favorite color, these braces are for you, and they work with metal braces too. I have some colored ties. Teal is my favorite color right now. When I first got them on in fourth grade, like everyone's like, oh my gosh, you got braces, like I want them now, I'm like, mm-hmm. Occasionally, special movement is needed. A lot of our patients, when we see them, maybe have a, a large overbite. Their front teeth are protruded, their lower jaw is back. You had to wear this headgear, this external contraption that would, would change how your jaws would fit together. But instead, now what we can use is a device that goes inside. It's a spring module. It's called a forces appliance. And once your teeth are positioned in your top jaw, when you, then your teeth are positioned in your bottom jaw, we then can attach these springs that will then position your jaws. Today, there are several aesthetic options for patients to receive orthodontic treatment. The one that is truly invisible is actually incognito braces. Some of the options that were shown to me were traditional braces, which had to do with metal on the outside and lots of wires and rubber bands, which did not fit into my lifestyle. And then she showed me the incognito braces, which were everything was on the backside. Sometimes there'll be patients like, I don't want to see braces at all. I don't want to see braces. For those patients, we can use the incognito braces system. They work in a technique similar to conventional braces. I always th I think of the, the smiles, the direct link to your heart. And sometimes I'll meet people that are the nicest people. Are, there's so much inside, but they have a hard time letting it out because they're afraid to smile. So one of the rewarding parts about being an orthodontist is the day you take patients' braces off. And you know, sometimes the people who even get so excited, maybe the young man who never even said a word during treatment, and then all of a sudden he looks in the mirror and says, wow, I look good. 3M braces allow you to look beautiful during and after treatment. Making a space you can call home. Living the lifestyle you desire. It's what we are all about. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash dspacesTV. Or friend us on Facebook. Type in the words Designing Spaces. Connect with us on Pinterest to follow all of our design ideas and share yours with us. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.